Got a well and smoker. You can hear it like the tapping, clashing, like something's loose. Very smoky. Right, now we'll turn it off and let it cool down for a bit. Hey guys, how you all doing? Now, today I'm going to be doing the valve clearances on my 2000 Mark 5 Ford Fiesta that's still got the 1.3 Endura engine. Reliable, yes. That's all I can say. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is removing this rocket cover which is the one I painted over a year ago I've recently uploaded that video because I didn't have a laptop uh, I'm going to be removing that, moving these out of the way removing the spark plugs, jacking the car up, removing the wheel because there is a cover underneath that we need to get to because once we took the spark plugs out we want each cylinder at top dead centre not all at the same time, that's impossible. We need to get so that we'll get the two uh, cylinder one and four at top dead center first, and then there should be some movement in the valves because that's when the valves are closed, and then we'll set them. And then we shall do cylinder two and three because that they'll be next top, top dead center, or I can't exactly remember if it's like one and three, two and four or whatever, I can't remember, we'll find out when we do it. I've just tried starting it as you've seen. I've just stuck it on a quick charge. I know these batteries are supposed to remove the caps, but um, it's just a little quick charge. Um, we've got the tools that we need over there. I'll show you them in a minute. It'll cool down for an hour or so, and then we'll carry on with it. Hi right, guys, so these are all the tools you need. You just need a socket set, and you need a, Torx, whatever this is, but focus. The only problem with this is that it's broken off and you need a feeler gauge. So, what I'm gonna remove the rocker cover, I've moved the oil filler cap, moved all the spark plugs out of the way. I'm gonna remove the rocker cover and show you the inside. Right, guys, what we have here is the original rocker cover, also has on it the valve clearances. So, for the inlet valve, it's 0.05 mil. And for the exhaust valve, it's 0.02 mil. And I, right, guys, if the phone falls, I'm sorry, right? So we're going off the reference of the inlet valve on the original rocker cover. So this inlet valve is actually pretty, which is closed, the big gap there. So this is all you can hear when the engine's running. So what you want to do is stick that under there. Gap's a little big, so what you want to do is tighten it just a wee bit right oh that's loosening so what you want to do is just yes, there you go it's a little bit of play on that You want it, so it slides through and it's just scraping. So there you go, like that. So that's the uh, so there. That is just scraping. So that one's fine. Next loose valve we have is this one which is an exhaust well them are closed that's closed I'm guessing it's these two and them ones right so next two we'll do since these valves are closed we'll do this one which is well this one which is the inlet again so what you want to do is slide that underneath there's actually loads of room under that one. But <clears throat> take the extension off. Might actually need a short socket. Yeah, we're gonna need So we are doing this one right here. The gap is easily too big. So 
so we're just gonna. <clears throat> this one is a tight one. There you go. That one's scraping. So next one will be this exhaust one, which you need the 0.02, well, 0.2, 0.02, which is this one. This cap seems well too big for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily too big. There's loads of room for floor terrain in it now. So we're gonna just turn them up. Nice and tight. There you go, that smells better. What you really want to do is mark them once they've been done. Is this exhaust what you really want to do is mark them off when they're done. So I'm just gonna use my screwdriver here. I'm just gonna Give them a little scratch on the top. We have got one in that what we can't do that one because the valve's down. The exhaust ones are open. That one's slightly down. This one is open. So we're nearly done now guys. What I'm gonna do is leave you here, go under the car, crank the engine a little bit, and then you know stuff. Right guys, now this inlet is open. The uh, exhaust is open. What I'm gonna do is just Yep, that one's fine. Bye for you. And we just need to do this exhaust. And then that inlet. Then we should be done. More so we can give it a bit, little bit of a feel. That exhaust is loose. Now yeah, it's full of crate. That's what we're going to do. That's the inlet. That's the exhaust. Go, that's scraping. So that one's done. Now we've got to do this inlet over here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. The exhaust is fine. That inlet is fine. That in that is actually fine, it's pushing that in a bit. This exhaust. Let's give it a quick feel. Exhaust is fine. That exhaust is fine. Exhaust is down. That exhaust is fine. Right guys, now that they're all done, what we're gonna do is put the spark plugs back in. I'm gonna clean them first off. I'm just gonna get a look. Now what I'm going to do, get the rocker cover on, Just clean all this up around here, we're going to get the rocker cover back on, and then get it all started up, belting. Right guys, now it is a week later, I'm sorry about this, I did the video last week, but I had to wait because I only come here once or twice a week. So everything's pieced back together. I'm just going to see if it's any quieter. So listen closely. videos and all that upside stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe and thank you for watching.